Dell Boy Army, welcome to my first FIFA 22 video on the channel. It has been a while. I've not done a video in a few months. The last time I will have done a video, I was not a dad. I've become a father in the last uh, couple of months. My son was born in the beginning of August. Exciting times. FIFA 22 is finally there, and I'm really excited to start streaming again, putting out loads of YouTube content for you. And with EA Play dropping in two days, the FIFA 22, the 10 hour trial, there's lots of content coming your way from me. And I thought, what better video to start with than how to start FIFA 22? I've played every single year of foot. I was a foot founder on my old PlayStation account. I think it was like FIFA 08. It's changed a bit some of the ways you can start. But this video is going to be dedicated to showing you and teaching you some of the best ways you can start off foot. For me, there's a few different options. Before I get into them, I'm going to share some of the videos that I've got coming your way in the next couple of weeks. If you've got any videos you really want to see, let me know in the comments. Smash the like button to let me know you're enjoying the videos. But yeah, I want to make videos that are dedicated to helping you guys improve. That's what this channel is all about. Helping you guys learn more about FIFA and improve at the game. So if there's any videos that you think you really need to see that I've not mentioned in here, let me know. Here's some of the ideas I've got. Let me get it up. So, where are we? Where is it on here? Okay, there we go. I'm going to do a video about how to tell if it's a board or a walkout. That'll save you time when you're opening three packs. Insane starter players. Best value defenders. Best value midfielders. Best value attackers. All these ones... One of the things that I like to do, especially at the beginning, is recommend a lot of the really good cheap beasts who can help you start squads. FIFA, how chemistry works, how the new tactics work. They're similar to some of the old tactics. It's kind of the tactics for FIFA 22 from what I've seen are kind of a hybrid of the last couple of years and a few years before that. I'm going to do videos on how to defend, attacking, lots of gameplay tips and tutorials. Um, start my. I'll share my first start tactics. I might show you some of the nicest kits. And then I'll probably also do some highlights, some pack openings that I do for myself. And then just some of the, not just best value, but the actual best players in the game at the start. I've got some new hero cards that might fit into that. For now, I'm a bit limited. Since the game's not dropped for me, I'm not a game changer. I don't actually have access to the game. We're using website like FootWiz. But we can still talk about some of the stuff that I'm expecting to see that I'm almost certain will be in the game. So the first thing you're going to see when you load up is going to be that thing where it's like pick your nation. For me, I always pick France. France for me is the best nation to start with because it's got a big variety of players you can pick from. Brazil's pretty good. England, Argentina, not bad. Any of the major nations that let you pick tend to be pretty good. But I think France has a lot of good players. It will give you an option where you can pick a lone player. Make sure you pick a striker. I think... Um, when you pick the striker, you're going to get at least one like 87 to 89. You tend to get, you get them for five games. They're a player who's going to be really good in your rival players for games. A lot of the approach on how you start the game is also really going to depend on, are you doing a road to glory or are you spending a lot of money? If you're spending a lot of money on FIFA points, get your packs open straight away. Start opening them quick. At the start of the game, even like 80 rated players who have a bit of pace are worth a lot. A couple of weeks into the game, a lot of players suddenly just don't have much value. For the first couple of weeks where people are trying to figure out the meta, they're always going to go for pacey, cheap beast players that actually have a lot of value. And These players are worth so much more early on that for me, it's absolutely vital, in my opinion anyway, that you get your points opened early if you're going to spend. If you're not spending loads, but you're pretty good at the game, then I would spend your first 10 hours pretty much just religiously grinding draft. From what I've been seeing people say, apparently if you win draft now, you get a guaranteed 83 plus player. They're going to be worth a decent amount generally early on and a decent chance of getting a player worth quite a bit. So if you can pretty much get to semi-finals or better every time, you've got a good chance to win the draft. Draft's going to be really good for you. If you're on a road to glory, it might be a bit tedious, but one of the things you might really want to do is do squad battles early on because the guaranteed coins... Especially, I don't know if squad battles is top 100 or top 200, but if you can do that, that's going to be a really good thing to do just to get some coins early. It's a bit tedious. You can do some of the objectives in the season progress to start getting going. One of the things that I've seen people saying as well is the coins you get from your rivals placement early on is really big. If you can get your rivals placement coins early on, you're going to be able to get some players to really start improving your team quick. 
No one wants to be using the bronzes or silvers for a long time. You want to start getting some cheap meta gold players in there that are going to make your games a lot easier to play. I'm assuming most people watching YouTube videos like this are fairly dedicated players. Most of you are going to be playing online. You're going to need pace. You're going to need some cheap players. And over the next week, a lot of my videos are going to be dedicated to that type of content. Cheap meta beasts that early on are going to make a big difference to your game. A lot of players are not going to be able to access your Neymars, your Cristiano Ronaldo's, all these type of players for a long time. So early on, I'd like to put a lot more focus on the players that may be a lot more affordable to everyone. You can see I'm on Footwiz. Footwiz is a fantastic site for accessing all the info you need on FIFA 22. Foot, foothead, Footbin, good as well. I tend to use Footwiz most of the time. I used to actually play for Footwiz a few years ago. Um, Dan... Uh, Ruin who owned foot was great guys got a good esport team um one of the things you can do you can go straight to the home page and then click foot 22 database and you can start to look through some of the cards they've started putting some of the cards on i've not actually seen yeah okay yeah they haven't got some of the stats yet because the game's not fully alive van persie as long as he has a decent week for he could be a beast um i'm sidetracking here though basically what you want to do early on is you want to start using the 22 squad build so look, you want to start focusing your start teams. A lot of people are probably going to find a glitch so they can get unlimited EA play hours. If there is one, I'm not going to publicly talk about it because I don't want to get in trouble with EA. You guys do you. But if you don't have full access to the 10 hours, as in if there's no glitch and you can only do 10 hours before the 27th when the Ultimate Edition drops, you probably want to, if you're going to spend five points, go on the web app and open them on there. Or when you're building teams, do them on a website like Footwiz or on the web app as well. But Footwiz is really good for it. You can type, um, you can go like here and just type Ronaldo. And it'll come up with Ronaldo. Uh, Rooney comes up with all these. I don't think the database is that big right now. Um, it's going to get a lot bigger over time. Uh, do they have like stats like pace? So one of the things you're going to want early on is lots of pace. Let's see how many like 90 plus pace players they've got in the database right now. Do I need to? Do I not apply the filter? Okay, I need to click apply filter. Okay, so there's going to be a lot more players with that pace. Right now, this database isn't going to be fully loaded. I think on the 22nd, the site will be updated with lots more info. But you want to come to a website like this, and this is a way you can quickly find cheap players who are going to suit the way you want to play. Um, one of the big things I think early on is you need to decide what league you're playing in. Or what nation? I think leagues are a lot easier because you're not completely tied to just one nation for chemistry. Chemistry is really important, in FIFA. Like I said, I'll be doing a video about that to help you guys out. But early on, I would say that the best leagues to play in are going to be Prem, Bundesliga, and probably French league. La Liga followed by Serie A, pretty close. They're all pretty similar. The French and Prem are probably the best to be in just because they have a higher ceiling. The Prem has more options, but then the French League is going to have Neymar, Messi, Mbappe. Um, David Ginola, the hero, looks absolutely insane. The stats I'm seeing about him are right. These are the leagues that you want to be in because ultimately, until we know what potential special cards, which can change, which leagues are better, these are the leagues right now that have the high ceiling. You don't want to get to the point where your team can't improve anymore without selling up and changing leagues. So you want to know from early on what team you want to be working towards. Look at some key players. Look at some tactics. I'm your guy for tactics every year. Tried, trusted, tested. People love the tactics part. I'm going to be putting lots of tactics out for you guys. I'll be putting one probably on the 23rd where I've just played a few games. It won't be a try and test one. Just be, this is my start tactic. This is what I'm going to go with. And then as soon as I've played more of the game, I'll start to be putting out more fine-tuned tactics. Um, but going into the game with a plan is going to help you. You don't want to waste your hours. Um, especially if there's not a glitch. It's pretty consistent, the same type of stuff every year. The SBCs are another thing. Um, I'll go on Footbin for these. Footbin I tend to use for the SBCs. I like Footbin for SBCs. Might be a bit of a, str a struggle to find that. Okay, they've not got any on there. Anyway, the starter SBCs, that if you can do them, they're guaranteed to be profitable. I think normally you can get 100k pack. I don't know if they're in the new game for sure, but they've been in it for the last four or five years or something. I'm almost certain they will be. Doing all these things using the coin boost, rivals games, having a plan, getting cheap meta players, I'll be recommending lots of 
is going to get you off to a much better start if you know what you're doing. Like I say, I'm going to be putting like lots of content that's dedicated to helping you guys. If there's anything you want to see, let me know. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It's good to be back. I'll be streaming probably either the 22nd on the evening or 23rd day after the games come out. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate your support. Appreciate anyone who's stuck around me and is ready for FIFA 22 content. It's going to be a great journey, boys. Let's have it.